Hello, everyone. We are commentating Aglet versus Bo Chalice for Renaissance Mix. I am joined today by Team OK. Hello. All right. So it seems like they are just about to get started here. Looking ahead at the board, it's kind of bad visually, but it looks like. Little I can tell, it seems it's it seems like a pretty powerful board. Uh, lots of draw um if candlestick maker as their only trasher. Oh and fair. They have the wait, fair, so the candlestick maker isn't trash though. Yeah. No, wait, it's just... silly me. I I meant I meant Please. plus buy. Yeah. Uh, well... Yeah, that was me being I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. They are I mean, there's also, there's also fair, but with some cheaper, cheaper, nice cards, I think you're probably going to want to have candlestick makers. Yeah, I don't uh, think you go for, for fair, because I feel like the board, you can, like, you're going to be drawing deck here with, with village and old witch around, um, and then your payload, I guess. I guess at first you get it from, I guess you can't really feed the priest. I mean, the old witch is feeding the priest. I don't, I think this board, I mean, old witch is a fast card, but it might even be too fast for priest here, or for old witch, not priest. Um, I think you can get thin fairly fast. I could see a priest overlord open with the high roll of trashing two estates and even picking up a seer um, on a 4-3. Yeah, that seems good. Um, of um, course, it looks like they both have... Or it looks yeah. like... Yeah, Rainbow Chalice goes for Village with their four. Which I think is interesting. Yeah, general opening Village is, with very few exceptions, quite bad. Because I mean, you... Oh, it's Star Priest. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, the only other way to get your actions is Royal Carriage, but I don't think the, but like, I don't think the village split is going to be, like, so essential that it's worth opening village. Yeah. Um, you definitely want to get trashed for early. Um, and just taking a village at the expense of even Border Guard to help find the priest is not worth it to me. Yeah, and Aglet opens Silver Priest, so I think on free, on free four, that seems like a very reasonable open. Uh, it could possibly be Star Chart to make sure they don't don't bottom deck the priest. Yeah. Although, Double Village opening. Um. um no, Rainbow Child's open Village Silver as well. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes. I thought you were like, opening. advocating for a, du yeah. a double village opening. Double village opening would be quite suspect. Yeah, yeah. that would like mm -hmm. have to be. Seer is a wonderful draw here. Yeah, Seer seems good. I mean, old witch is here, so you're going to use it probably, but you could easily get by with just Seer. Yeah, I mean, with Old Witch around, I feel like you don't really want Seer because, like, your curses won't go in. And I want, I want like, my engine to be with Old Witches. Given that, like, Priest is the only trasher and a tool. Yeah, Old Witch is definitely good here. My initial assessment was giving enough credit to the cursing. I think once you have deck control, the cursing is doing next to nothing. But that's going to be hard to generate if you are getting old witched every turn early. Yeah, so it looks like Aglet is already seen ahead with an old witch and an overlord in their deck. And then they also have the priest from their opening. So I think that gets you ahead as opposed to your next shuffle. Adding star chart and witch. Yeah. Rainbow Chalice taking an overboard. 
I don't love that you have five and you're not going and you know you're not going into a shuffle. So yeah. what I would have preferred there for Rainbow Chalice is taking a seer and then taking an overlord on this four that you know you have. Yeah, you only really get overlord when like it's going into a shuffle. Otherwise you can get an I think an especially I think given the state Rainbow Chalice's deck is in, they just can't afford that money. And it's an old witch is like just fine for their deck. Like they're not in terrible need of the flexibility right now. Yeah. The one thing is, I wonder if they will consider a uh, fair here. Given that oh, it's sorry, plus by other fair is interesting. Oh, sorry. No, off. no, go ahead. I was. I mean, on eight coins, I don't think fair is worth it. You can get an overlord with no debt and then have the flexibility to play that as candlestick maker if the situation arises. Yeah. Which just seems monumentally better than fair. Yeah, that that is to fair point. So Rainbow Chalice just did they have oh no, never mind, they did not have action. Mm -hmm. So yeah, given yeah, because I suspect that that is a like soon they'll be drawing deck. Yeah, as Aglet, I think I want to be using the overlords to trash a bit as well. Yeah. I mean, you're doing well with the trashing, but you could definitely afford to accelerate, it, especially right here. You don't want to have the you don't want to trigger that shuffle. You're now missing. You're having a village, an old witch, and an overlord miss the shuffle, where you could be trashing an estate. And winding up with the same economy, frankly. Yeah, I agree. I think that shuffle and like, triggering it, I think that was not a good aglet. Yeah. Yeah. Was aglet I mean, here? I don't know. Do you want another beast or do you just take the, like an? Okay, they take a star chart, yeah. So I think for him, yeah. Aglet a star chart seems fine. Uh, they not have one yet. Yeah, for me, it was between star chart and village. Village being the option, so you could play your overlords as old witch more. Although, I think star chart's better if you want to be. And like, top decking has... Some good advantages here. I don't know. I don't like the village there. You want to have these stuff miss the shuffle. It's fine sacrificing an overlord and a priest next shuffle. Have those two coppers and a curse miss the shuffle as well if you play it as seer. Plus, if you play the overlord as seer, you can guarantee one of the three cards is between two and four with star chart. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, so I guess, yeah, so Rainbow Chalice is in pretty good shape. They can trash. Right. Yeah, Overlord there seems nice. At this point, I want to start playing at least one Overlord to turn for Rainbow Chalice as a um, candlestick maker, because you want to. I'd much rather be putting two Seers in my deck or like Old Witch Royal Carriage or whatever the case may be, just two five costs or even five costs in Overlord rather than just one Overlord. Yeah, I think right here, like Rainbow Chalice's deck like is mostly built off of Overlord, so they want to be playing um, Overlords as Old Witch. Yeah. At the same time, you want to be adding more things. Yeah, so. and Aglet has has fewer overlords in in his deck, but I think you know, like you want to be drawing deck here. Oh yeah, drawing deck here seems pretty easy to do. Um, with the seers and the old witches as both constituting incredible, incredible yeah. draw. Yeah, and the other thing is like it's if you. Hit, hit, um, 
and and royal carriage might be beneficial to Rainbow Chalice, given that they can have like several overlords in each hand, and that's and a royal carriage is much cheaper. Yes, I mean hitting it doesn't seem to be a problem for royal chalice at this point, but um, definitely consideration if and when they start making some of their overlords into plus five. Yeah, I think, I think like even that last turn that they had, they could have benefited from it. Cause I don't think it's about hitting. Like I, I don't want just one overlord or one province leader a turn. I want to be at least. Double province thing. Yeah. I think you could even justify building to triple or at least to double into five cost here. Yeah, a double into five cost. Um, you can explode on this board. Um, I mean, the draw, I, I actually, I don't know about that. You can, there's not really much economy outside of gold. Miser is not a good option here. That's true. You can still build forever. You can build to a big, peak, uh, big priest mega turn. That's another thing you can do. Uh, that is certainly something that one could consider. Um, you would really want to have, like, you need to get, like, lots of raw cards in your deck. And, because uh, ideally, and ideally, playing some of those overlords as priests. So it would take time to build up to, but I think it is definitely okay. by doing. Yeah. I oh, took a real carriage. What is yeah. he been doing over the past few turns? You know, yeah. a priest, a witch. Yeah, I don't like the royal carriage quite as much for Aglet. Um, they just, like, his deck doesn't, doesn't have, like, an like enough actions that I think it's worth a royal care. Like I think deck is better suited with like your old witch. Um uh, deck just doesn't have those cards in it. And Aglet has resigned. I don't know if the position was resignable, but Rainbow Chalice definitely seemed quite ahead. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. uh, like, despite, like, the opening, Royal Chalice definitely a comeback. Um, yeah, I think giving out a lot of curses early for Rainbow Chalice really helped them snowball ahead of Aglet. It really hard for Aglet to draw his deck. Yeah, I think that is definitely the type of board. So really on all boards, like, getting your opponent just have to hurt them that much. Yep. There's some interesting stuff going on here. There's Paige. Um, so that's going to be important to deal with. There's plus buy, there's games, there's lackeys, there's cavalry, there's engineer, a bunch of power cards. Yeah, lots of power cards. I think, I guess what you is I want an, an old witch engine that has champion down. Like, ideally, you'd be cycling pretty fast on this board. Yeah. I think in terms of open, a priest page is fine. Page cavalry, if you have two, five, or three, four, is also pretty nice. But I think if you have four, three, I'm leaning for I'm leaning towards transmogrify page to pick up another page or lackeys in the second shuffle. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually kind of leaning towards and I want like the payload and like transmogrify. It's nice, but then you'd be turning like when you dash is. Deal with 
first. Yeah. I think, well, it was the transmogrifier play, and you were picking up a priest a bit later, but you have a pretty high likelihood of finding estates to trash, and I think it's more beneficial to have a second page going or to have that lackeys than to get the two coins early. Is the fives? Sorry, go ahead. That's just not really payloaded. Getting your deck but you might be right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Definitely could go either way. They're both very good opens. Um, well, it seems like the players also disagree about which one of those two was better. Indeed. I quit. Was not very lucky with the guff. They had the priest miss all of the estates. Yeah, that was just bad luck. And then they picked up a lackeys on five, which is interesting. I think I'd rather have a sculptor, definitely, and possibly an old witch as well on five. Yeah, I think I old think, witch. Yeah, like at the very least, sculptor, because like once you already have coffers down, there's really no reason not to take sculptor unless like the lackeys are low and you're going for the. But I'd also prefer Old Witch there. Oh, um, yeah. Nice thing about lackeys here is once Champion is down, it's just a laboratory. So you don't have to have your villagers last the entire game. It's just until Champion, which is much more achievable. Yeah. But that's also why, like, it's nice with Old Witch. Because you can, Old Witch is like a soup lab. Yeah. I don't like that treasure hunter play from Rainbow Chalice. I, although maybe it's a necessary evil, I don't know. But four silvers is a lot of silvers to take. And I, I don't know, knowing you have another treasure hunter down there that you can convert to warrior this time, and then just wait on the other one until the right time. I don't like playing it there. Yeah, well, Rainbow Chalice does have a T-Log in deck. So at least that does help it with the silvers. Oh, that's uh, true. Yeah, because teamogging silvers into cavalry does look really nice on this board. Oh, yeah, that's a nice interaction. Um. And it also just, I want to like get that champion down ASAP. So that's another reason too going for mm. so yeah aglet it seems it is at a point where you might want to consider getting wine merchant because like the only other like the only other way to get buys is with is with cavalry but then you have to have it playing a team og every turn and like have a silver and a horse that you're willing to bash yeah, I mean, down the line, Wine Merchant is great here. It's a nice, it's a nice source of buy. Um, I don't know if it's time yet. They both do have heroes, I think. If I was keeping track, if I was keeping track right, they should both have heroes now. So yeah. it's maybe getting to that time, but I think you can afford to wait a shuffle. And just pick up more draw to get to that champion a tiny bit quicker. Yeah. So, Aglet here is. Lucky, so I guess really like he would just play. So he chooses not to. Oh, wait, no, he's just. Fine. So I guess, he... yeah, you trash the. The only thing is, it's possible that it would have been nicer to play the lackey to have a higher chance of the champion getting in the shuffle, but trashing the. I'm sure. Yeah, and it wound up working out for him. I think now is the time you probably want a wine merchant just to be, or a sculptor, honestly. Either of those are nice. Um, yeah. Sculptor will get you more laboratory lackeys 
wine merchant will just give you plus buy to pick up any draw anything as you really want yeah and with cavalry like sculptor is basically a lab itself yeah and then cavalry is also a lab with champion albeit delayed as i would um i want my next oh Gravings got taken. This will be an interesting mountain pass bid. Aglet can probably afford to bid 14, 15, maybe a bit more. He's getting a lot of economy. Yeah, and so uh, yeah. I think so. 12 seems a bit low for what Aglet could do. Yeah, I agree. Like, Aglet just has so much more payload than what they. And. Like, with all this payload and no source of plus buys, like, Aglet could afford some. Yeah. Although we probably do calculations that... Not... Yeah, Aglet has... Well, Aglet has 12, had 12 in hand there, so... I think you can afford to go turn for 8 VP without doing things. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe forcing Rainbow Chalice to take 13 debt or leave Aglet with what you're leaving him with is not what is trying to I mean, maybe it's just laying a trap for Rainbow Chalice because Rainbow Chalice is not in a good state right now although um did Aglet take Aglet did take a wine merchant that's good yeah because I'm honestly like not sure if it was the right move for Rainbow Chalice to take the take the debt, given like they had a bit of a lead, and Aglet is just way more capable, and so giving so even so it would just allow Rainbow Chalice to build up more. Yeah, I don't know. Rainbow Chalice, I believe. Still needs to get champion down and also has much less of the draw. I don't like Mimbo Chalice's position here. I think maybe their best bet is just to take the take any points they can get, because then giving Aglet the lead there makes it much easier for Aglet to eventually pile out. Or because Aglet has much more control over that. Yeah, Aglet definitely has that control. I don't like the province. I don't. Yeah. I, I wanted. I wanted the wine merchant. Yeah. Like Maybe even, two. Like even Rainbow Chalice. I don't think that province was good, but they had a, had Mountain Pass to justify it. But then Aglet, like he didn't have Mountain Pass anymore. Yeah. You can build really, really big here. Yeah. And sure. Like, and the time for Aglet's province had passed. Um, team Ogden to Wine Merchant there is nice. Um, as Aglet, maybe, maybe I even want to triple Wine Merchant here or something. Double Wine Merchant, Old Witch. You can, you can build as Aglet to, like, triple a quadruple province. You have that leeway. You don't need to risk that. Yeah, I agree. Because Aglet already has a fair amount of overdraw, plus he's gaining more, more horses. So I don't... I wouldn't be too concerned about draw as Aglet. So I like the I think double wine merchant something. Um, You're, no. No, not another prof province. Um it could he here could have even been wine merchant pilgrimage. Maybe wine merchant pilgrimage engineer paying only one debt. Oh, this isn't good now you don't have your wine merchant. <laughs> Um, yes, I like the pilgrimage here. I don't like the province. You don't need to be spending eight on it yet. You, and also, I, I mean, spending eight is kind of the problem here now because now you don't have to have six coins from priest each turn since you've trashed all your junk. Yeah, so I don't, like, yeah, I think you just go a double line merchant there. Um, because Aklet, like, he has the draw to be line merchant. That isn't for him, so he should just get advantage of that and just build more province. Yeah. 
that. Like as adequate right now, you're limited. You've limited yourself to like twelve. What's I think twelve coins a turn. If you don't build more, yeah. Like or I guess you can be at fourteen coins a turn if you don't. If you don't use scepter to gain horses. Um. I've now thought about it. Pilgrimage does look as nice to me because you can't gain wine merchant from it. Um, I just, it comes down to wanting more economy for a lick. You're far ahead, you don't need to risk a dud. Yeah, because they're like for Aglet, honestly, a silver would have been fine there just for economy. Um, and a double province, now that being that, but that's once you're getting the province. Um, without it, I still would have liked double wine work there. Yeah. Rainbow Chalice. We've been paying a lot of attention to Aglet's deck now. I think maybe take a look at Rainbow Chalice, who's going to get championed down this turn. Um, they have been paying off debt. They paid off debt for a few turns. Um, well, they only just got paid, debt paid off a turn before last, and now they just flipped Pilgrimage. Um, yeah, so I think Rainbow Chalice is definitely behind a bit there. So, Aglet, i just noticing what they did on their turn. Just didn't play a lackey when he could have. I would want to and there were two cards left in his draw pile. Not, and I think he could have, should have played a lackey for the draw, recycling purpose. Yeah, I mean, there's a, I, I definitely lackey playing lackeys better than not playing lackeys. There's a chance that Aglet was tracking his deck better than we were, and knew that there were two or at least one draw card down there. Not yeah. sure though. That's an exception. The so Rainbow Chalice, they are just, they just do a good move. They grab a cavalry car and then pick up a province. That seems good to me. Yeah, I mean, they're lost anyways. I yeah. easily is going to have province here on almost any draw. It would take such a monumental dud for them yeah. to, for him to not. At least um, province. Yeah, this is now 18 coins. Um, Aglet just turned down an opera. Oh, well, I guess it's the win for yeah. Aglet. Oh, didn't. Yeah. Of course, turning down style points is definitely not something you want to be doing as Aglet. Very important in the final match scores. There's donate in this kingdom. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, um sure, I guess what you want to do go for lackey's board but without page, so you might want to be something for villagers and I suspect that paddock will come non terminal pretty soon. Yes. Um I don't know if inheritance is worth here. I don't I the thing you really want, you don't, there's nothing great to inherit up than guide as a cantrip, but that's about it. And besides, there's donate, which incentivizes thinning your coppers or, or thinning your estates early, so this might be an inheritance skip. Yeah, I want to get my bashed on this for inheritance. Like all of the, well, I guess there are really only on this board, and they are both fivers. Yeah, I mean, lackeys definitely can't discount it, but yeah. I'm not. I don't. Oh, sorry. Two cards that their on play effect is good. That's true. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I, I mean, 
I'm not great at working don't at working out donate lines, but it I think it could be a turn one donate here. Um could be silver donate, could be silver silver donate. But the number one thing you want to be doing before donate is adding a bit of economy so you have to so you can keep less coppers. Yeah. Um, I wanna I wanna open silver donate and then I guess maybe go silver silver donate because I wanna I guess if you go silver donate, you get to trash four out of seven coppers. If, assuming you want to hit five, which I think you do. Yeah. Or I guess your other option is you could trash coppers, which is terrible. And then you're guaranteed to hit silver and then hit five on your next turn and grab paddock. Yeah, I'm, I'm conflicted over whether I want to. I want my first five, and possibly only five, to be Butcher or Paddock. Um, they definitely both have their ups and downs. I I kind of want to, like, trash my deck with Donate. Just the reason I want to get Butcher. Yeah, I mean, Paddock is nice. Um, Butcher does let you know provinces, but then Paddock gives you the horses. Okay, it's... so... Looking at their openings, Rainbow Rainbow Chalice opens Lackey's. Not sure why I feel about the priest opening with Donate. Aglet goes for Donate, and then just repays their remaining debt. Yeah, I think he could have done something better there. I think I preferred the Silver Donate bet talked about earlier because that way you can trash more coppers because Aglet had to pay more coppers there to reap I don't like the priest. Um I, I just I don't like it at all. I don't like the butcher either. Knowing you have a five card deck you're gonna see both terminal. It doesn't seem optimal. No, um because yeah. Aglet I think deck benefit a lack how the villager playing please nice, but that being said, I would have preferred Haddock Lackey's deck with Lackey's most that you're kind of forced to draw from the villagers. I guess you might also want to shove a ring two into your deck. For your plus buys, to do. I think with village with villages and extra actions being so tight, if I'm playing with plus buys, it's going to be Ducat. Oh yeah, Duke. I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, that's a bad plus buy. Yeah, I mean, it's normally quite an unrealizable card, yeah, but it's... here it might actually be useful. Could be just donate. I'm Could be donate a, single province. Oh, sorry. Just a card that like I'm too good at overlooking, but when it's the non-terminal source of plus buy on the board, so I am I like it on this. Yeah, I mean, also what little Andy suggested, which is donate money, and yeah, um, I think donate money could be good. Could it's probably very nice here. There's not much to do. Everything is terminal, except for a like guide and, in a way, lackeys. Um, I could see taking one paddock. I don't know if one paddock helps or hurts donate money. I don't know if one butcher helps or hurts donate money. But I don't love doing more than that. Yeah. There's something to add here for that money. Uh, you mean like stockpiling coffers? Yeah, you can stockpile coffers and also for your plus buys. And then if you grab one ad hoc and back, that will help with draw a bit. And then I guess you want your opponent to pile something. Mm -hmm. I mean, Waiting for your opponent to pile something doesn't seem like a great plan because if your opponent sees you waiting for them to pile something, they will not pile something. They will not get things close to piling. It's going to help you that much more than them. 
Yeah, but I feel like that deck, it just wouldn't rely on your opponent piling something enough for it to be something that your opponent is actively trying to avoid. And it also just isn't something that's good enough to be worth going for yourself. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah. Incredible point there. I definitely trust your opinion more than my own on donate boards, at least, if not everything else. Um, turn eight, we see Aglet taking the first province. Yeah, um, that seems fine. Aglet's deck. Yeah, Aglet has some villagers that are being saved, so that is definitely good for him. Uh, Rainbow Chalice just locate to get a bunch of golds. Seems fine. Um, this is now good course he, of act. Yeah, he now has a pretty uh, distant single province, I think. Yeah, it should be. Uh, actually, there's only four golds. Or not only, but it was four golds. Um, I don't yeah. know how consistent it'll be, but for now, you shouldn't have a problem in the province in the next few turns. Yeah, I do worry about sustainability with, with that. I don't think that deck is super sustainable. Yeah, having the dupe, uh, the duplicates is nice for if you want, if you need duchies later. I don't know if it's going to come down to that, but it's nice to have. I do like Aglet's deck more because Rainbow Chalice is just start eventually, and they are already behind. Yeah. So trash is a silver. I'm not quite sure what I think of that. Don't really don't, like it. I don't like it either. Don't don't need board without it. I mean, yeah, I did that. Building something really big, or not really big, but yeah, if you're like not. Yeah, that is certainly a fair analysis. Yeah, it's a good yeah, yeah, donut donate boards with wood can build pretty much quickly if you play them right. Yeah. Um, here you see the benefit of the duplicate. Scoring six points from Duchies. That said, I would not be surprised if Aglet had a win here, milling province and buying province. Um, yeah, you can just expend all of the villager, or at least yeah. one, one more villager here, looking for. Okay, this doesn't this is win. A um, yeah, this is a no, not quite. Almost a win in hand for Aglet. Yeah. Oh wait, no, Person. it is a win in hand. How? If you butcher you butcher your province into uh, you mill a province into province and buy a province. That leaves you with seven, though. I thought, or did you have coffers going in? He had four coffers going in. Oh, so that, yeah, that easily wins. Um, anyways, game is over. Rainbow Chalice, Kamikaze, the last province. And I was now 2-1 to one in the match. Yep. Going to the final game. Yeah. I have to say, this is a pretty fast match. Oh, yeah, it's, what, 40 minutes for three games so far? Yep. Speeding through. What, our match was, like, an hour 40 for four. So. Oh, yeah. That was a long match. Okay, so this board, um, would you? I notice the only source of plus buy is capital. However, you have invented. Uh, oh wait, cap. Yeah, cap. Oh yeah. If I didn't, I'm gonna be closing unnoticed. Which means, yeah, I happens. guess, I like the, the 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 inventor workers village combo here could be pretty nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm in. Um, research is the only trasher, which I think, which I guess isn't. Great for thinning coppers. 
Yeah, Sporker's Village is also by if you ever take a fool, which I don't know if you do. Um, I don't, there's not much draw here. The only draw is research, but research draw sucks. And hireling. I think on 2-5, I would want to take, I want to want to take just a hireling. With, with what rain, but, or the 5-2, I'd want to take hireling, save a copper. But with a 2-5, I'd save a copper into hireling, which lets you keep your copper even. Yeah. And, I want to have a few of those because inventor workers village stuff looks good to do, but you need to draw. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, you also have a sinister plot, but that that but sinister oh. plot kind of a mega turn with your draw. It's That's not interesting. Really draw. Yeah, I didn't notice sinister plot. I know sinister plot horn of plenty. Mega turns are a thing. Um. Could be that just stockpiling a bunch of workers, villages, and inventors until your sinister plot is big could be a thing to do here as well. Because highlings definitely have a high opportunity cost. So that it's interesting. Yeah, so Minion Pawn, I'm not quite sure about the research cargo ship opening. I like the research, but I feel like you can do better. Like if you have four and I'd want to do research, save a copper, save a copper. I think, personally, on four three, I'm opening sinister plot inventor or sinister plot research. Um, I just want to get the plot up and running as fast as possible, and then research is good because obviously trashing is nice. Inventor is good because gaining is nice. Not much to explain. Yeah, I'd say. The ideal opening here is probably Sinister Plot. But yeah, the Sinister Plot Inventor Mega Turn, I think you could try to do it. I think that would require kind of like starting on the Inventor split early. Yeah, getting six or seven Inventors is important. Well, there's also Colonies here. I don't think they come into play, though, if you're going for an Inventor Mega Turn. Yeah, you would need some money to support it. Of course, with capital, you can grab one or two capitals of lots of money if you're just if you're doing it all in mega turns. Yeah, on your penultimate turn, or even on your final turn, you can gain capitals with that with inventors, which seems actually quite useful. Um, acting troops. Well, I don't want them yet, but they seem probably good towards, like, when you're getting towards that final turn. You don't want to have one worker's village for every inventor, which you can probably easily say you do not want. Yeah, taking a like, an acting troop or two... It definitely seems like something you could do. Yeah, hireling. Oh, um, and I don't know about hireling, especially in turn seven. This game is not going to last much longer. Yeah, I'd and rather there's... inventor there instead of hireling. Yeah, inventor even lets you save a copper. I guess this could have been silver. Or never mind, they did save a worker's village there. But you could have played it and saved yeah, a Yeah, I would have liked, yeah, I wanted to play the worker's village and then hopefully, like. Yeah. Oh, Agro just popped his Insta Plus. It seems a bit early. Yeah, it does seem early, I guess. I don't know what he's going for there. Yeah. Um, he is a bit short on action. Um, and I mean, also a bit short on draw, and also only has one inventor. Maybe actually, maybe has two. Yeah, I'm not I sure what the bottom card is. I want a cargo. I want a cargo. Um, and then take a. I guess take another. Like I guess then you'd have uh, you'd have seven, so then. Like, 
Workers Village Inventor in for Best Buys. Yeah, I I don't love playing the cargo ship here. I wanted to play Hireling and Inventor. Playing the Inventor here, you have two buys and five coins, but the things cost three, so that would let you add a Workers Village Acting Truth. I don't want more Hirelings there. Yeah, they I would don't... Be. I just hireling all that from the I mean if you're trying to do inventor workers village stuff they're maybe okay. I don't know if it's fast enough to compete with some single province, whatever. But it could be a thing, but with sinister plot that it just goes out the window. It... Yeah, you just play a bunch of workers just grab and grab some inventors that's I just be building here. Yeah. The other thing is I don't want to be playing this lucky coin anymore. The silvers are more of an impediment right now. The most crucial resource here is the draw. And more silvers are not worth the space they take up, in my opinion. I agree. I want to research a lucky, the lucky coin and all the silvers. Most of them anyway. Yeah. And I'd rather be researching copper than silver because A, copper is a worse card in your deck, don't know by much, and B, it's, um, you then get your research back for the next turn. But yeah, just getting rid of all of the treasures is nice to do. I guess I was just going for the hireling plays here. Yeah. So yeah, as Rainbow Ch Chalice, I guess the dream, their deck just doesn't lack in. Um, but they're working with one research, uh, but they do finally trash the lucky. Good. Yeah. I also mm -hmm. feel like I would be going. Yeah, neither of them went hard enough on the Workers Village split. I think that the Workers Village inventor splits are both good people. Yeah, in my opinion, the inventor split's a bit more important because, though not sustainable, acting troop can provide extra actions for a mega turn. And a, um, a worker's, um, and then the inventor is just the thing you can't replace the cost reduction and the gains. I guess the worker's will just also gains, but inventor gains are better. Yeah, I agree. Invent yeah, the inventor is the split that I'd be going for first, because you can definitely acting. And then you can also like invent more inventors and workers' villages. So that's useful. Yep. Wow. Um, Rainbow Chalice was able to get three inventors in play here. They choose to take a Platinum, which I don't like. You have four buys. You can pick up, like, three inventors in an acting troop. Um, that will, or you could even pick up all the last four inventors pretty handily when the split if you wanted to, which would make it hard for Agla to do much, although then you do have to contend with a potential pile out. So that shouldn't be a problem for another turn or two, at least. Yeah, you definitely do that. The inventors are almost out. It seems that the players are starting to invent inventors as Aglet. I want to buy out those two inventors and take the gold, I think. I don't or like the gold, though. Yeah, maybe or, or just a baker instead of gold. 
mean, I think I want the acting troop. You're adding a lot of terminals here, and the workers' villages are out. And yeah, you're that would getting, also be fine. You're getting very close to a turn in which you can take every, um, or you can three pile. So. Yeah. So he goes for emptying inventors and acting troops. Yeah, that definitely. Cool. Note is that with that plan, you could have saved the silver for free. It would have been good. It's not the hugest deal, though. Yeah, it would have been good, but I think it's not the end of the world that he could do that. Yeah. Uh, what's the inventor split? Is it 7 3 in Aglet's favor, I believe? Or 6 4? Yeah, Aglet is definitely. I think four, but I could be wrong. Let me check. So Aglet is nice here with the workers. I'm going to see what the workers split is. Um, yeah, is this the negaturn for Aglet? I don't think it is. You don't have enough inventors in hand. Um, you have all these silvers that have been clogging up your deck. Yeah, and Aglet won the workers' village split 6-4, so that does give him a boost on turn. It had to be inventors split. Check. I believe it was 6-4, Aglet. Yeah, so Aglet won both of the potential. That is definitely giving him a leg up. So, Aglet I believe might actually have a win in hand. Piling researches should be a thing to, that Aglet can do here. Um, all of these gifts are useless for that. Uh, oh, that's sad to have all those cards not be in hand instead of... Yeah. Okay, let's see. How much money does Aglet have in here? Oh wait, no, this this easily wins. You can even you can pile estates also. Yeah, yeah, Aglet has a win. Seems like he's going for the Oh pile. nope, never mind. No, maybe I guess he didn't realize that he can pile. Oh that oh, works nope, too. He goes for the high <laughs> yep, that that wins for Aglet. Many options here. Um but Aglet was able to win the match three to one. This was Aglet's first match in um, Renaissance Next, and now he should be tied for ninth place, I believe. Yeah. Or in, actually, rather, um, I believe in eleventh place. Yeah, that's so, pretty good. Yeah, it's impressive. For commentating. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you around. Bye.